Welcome everybody, here's your strategy wolf and welcome back to Victoria 3 and our uh, not Japanese shogunate but Japanese empire now. We just made the restoration and got rid of the shogunate having now our new emperor Komei Yamato in rule who's uh, supporting the forces, so the samurai actually. And we're on, yeah, finishing this restoration by basically want to get rid also of the samurai over long term by re renewing or like strengthening and modernizing, uh, modern, mo modernizing our um, army. So this is up and yeah, apart from this, we kind of got our financial problems a little bit under control, however, still struggling with this a bit and yeah about this we're going for um slowly into an imperialistic time we're improving our relations here with england and the northern german federation apart from this we saw this rebellion that i declared uh, quite surprising but uh, actually it's historic so i'm um, sorry for this i'm quite embarrassed as i wrote under the other comment that this heavenly kingdom here is actually like was based more in i think here in the south still but also here in the beijing or nanjing region not beijing but nanjing so this was apparently a big uprising movement or rebellion for like 20 years or something in the 19th century of china and also actually led by these um, protestant monks that kind of created a syncretism with the pre-existing religions with protestantism so yeah i will um they definitely interpret this this is i think bigger than expected and also it was never like in for in reality was never a real uh yeah accepted state or country that existed so it was always more a rebellion however i feel like with the peace that they uh, managed to obtain versus the um, russians and queen together i feel like this uh is kind of a state now and yeah therefore we have to have a look at it and I think from the Japanese perspective, the Heavenly Kingdom, especially due to the um, Protestant church, I miss Kling all the time, is definitely uh, somehow influenced by the Westerners. So we see the, the, the British that have their Haiphong here next to in northern Vietnam. They have their um, market or like the, the harbor here. So, and also historically speaking, a lot of French missionaries were quite active in the south as far as I know. So I would consider this from our perspective as somehow intervention by Westerners. So this kind of construct is definitely not, especially a theocracy of protest Protestantism is not really welcomed by us. So I would rather see them cautious, like he depicted here, if not uh, hostile to some extent. So maybe this might be actually a good chance for us to grab some more possessions in the area. But let's see, we're still like not really close to it since uh, our military has to be reformed or anything. Uh, before we do anything, we're still kind of backwards. And yeah, we at the moment we have to keep on industrializing with the industrialization. And let's have a quick look on to uh, our laws and the situation over here and the government if there's anything I want to change here. Oh, we have actually a quite low legitimacy because the Kazoko is really low um, interest in influence. So maybe let's bring actually its change here to one of those. Let's, let's maybe even take the three party um, government so we have the samurai included even if we want to get slowly rid of them they are the only ones they are traditionalist here bakufu but the other ones are hambatsu so i think after we get rid of this uh, journal entry then they should also switch when we get rid of the old style samurai this military also probably switches towards um the hanbatsu even here the Shinto, also we introduced Shintoism last time, um, agreed to this, so yeah. In general, I really don't want to have the legitimate government for what we're doing right now, so I'm definitely bringing the, um, yeah, those guys in, the samurai here. Let's confirm. And let's have a look what kind of laws are possible for us now. Mm. We kind of fine over here. We do have some radicals now. Maybe getting a secret police could be kind of tempting at least. However, this costs again some bureaucracy where we're in the minus right now. So maybe not now. Does it make sense for us to change in terms of the taxation model? According to... How much 
I should get a lot more uh, income by doing this. 23,000 apparently. So what's the difference from the now? So land tax, capita. We currently have a tax system that disproportionately taxes the poor through a combination of income and per capita taxes. And here we would share a mainly income-based tax system that tries to ensure everyone pays a roughly equal share of their income to the state. So, yeah. Probably, like, it's better for the poor a little bit. However, do we want this right now? Does it make sense for our government? How are we? Reserved. Political operator. Moderate. I mean, for the finances, it would be helpful. How do the uh, parties feel about it? Or the interest groups? Let's see. Did Saibatsu uh, oppose this quite heavily, as well as the land or was which are marginalized anyways? So we will lose some money again for uh, because the yeah, contribution to the investment fall will fall, which is quite nice and be beautifully high here. Here we see plus 20% contribution efficiency right now. Do we actually have that many um, capitalists right now? This would be the interesting part to see. Um, not that many right now. So maybe rather do it early than later. So let's keep this in mind. This could be an absolutely a thing for me. Local colonial resettlement is still on. Police force is for me also local police force. Yeah. We could switch here to the dedicated ones. I think this might be actually quite interesting. Maybe let's do this first. Um, should be quite easily done. Only the landowners. Yeah. Definitely. Because we rather have them than the local ones. Because the aristocrats and we get some standard of living increase and will re re reduce the radicals. So oh, let's still check other things. Um, I think I wanted to still have some conversion and um, assimilation. That's why we wanted to keep the religious school for a while. And maybe here we can get rid of the Shinto monks maybe. To move away to private health insurance. Yeah, maybe that's actually quite interesting since... Do they get influence over here? No, the church doesn't get influence. Um, right of assembly, this is all fine. We don't want any further stuff down here. So it actually is this decision in between police force and maybe the taxation. Let's go for the police force first. Yeah, since we do have... Like, maybe before we switch the taxation system, let's stabilize our finances a bit. Oh yeah, let's go. Let's um, keep on going already. So what are we building right now? We are still working on the government capacity and some fishing wharfs. Okay. Need more wood. Can we import some? Oh yeah, we can import from the Chinese, actually, and the Russians. Let's do this both. And we do have an event. Questionable practices. Event in Kanto. Released patients from the Edo Asylum have steadily denounced their practices involved in their supposedly medical treatments. Mistreatment of the sick, withholding of personal letters and disproportionate punishments were among the charges. They would make us sit in a chair for hours, if not the whole day, in silence. We couldn't talk to any other patient, not even read a book. They would only excuse us to go to the restroom if we were lucky. Otherwise, it was just a rusty chamber pot. No food, no water. If we were not sick when we were admitted, we would be within just a few weeks. The judgment cannot be trusted. Okay, the Shinto it's about. We need to entirely revise how asylums work. Mm-hmm. Too expensive, I guess. Yeah. The Shinto monks can take over the administration now. Their judgment cannot be trusted and they're anywhere is our friends right now, so not big of a deal. To be honest, I have no idea how uh, mentally sick people would have been treated in, especially, I have a slight idea how this developed in Europe, also not an expert, but especially what happened here in Asia, how this looks like, no clue. So if you somehow know uh, on the history of asylums and treating the mental uh, in general but also here in japan or eastern asia let me give me a give me a uh, yeah just in general add on to us so we can learn together always a good idea i guess 
by the way when strolling here over the map i feel like uh, our cities are definitely growing and it's getting we had the organization event already last time but now we definitely see some more buildings out here and we see way more yeah it was way less populated already or at least more um farmers and yeah we're number six worldwide and we see there was kind of some growth i don't know if it comes from Sakhalin. how many people live here 114,000. i'm pretty sure it doesn't come from Sakhalin. i really hope that our the share of the japanese increases in both regions here actually i had thought about it and now we have authority left over since uh, we got a higher legitimacy again we have the turmoil here and i think the turmoil yeah minus 60 percent migration attraction if we get the um, violent suppression out here minus 50 percent state penalties from turmoil let's have a look so i think yeah okay the migration attraction is way better now so this was probably one of the main factors why the migration to hokkaido wasn't that great even though there's still a lot of things open here in the uh, gold mines a lot of jobs available how does it look over here um, is there any okay here we seem don't seem to have rumors all right and we've got tons of authority left now can we either is there nice taxes that really make sense for us right now so we could maybe lower those taxes over here but we kind of fine art maybe and tobacco because we've kind we kind of were ta taxing already on most of the luxury goods but let's keep on doing this then let's bring out the tobacco tax and a fine art tax and instead lower the level to medium taxes again and we can see what we can do with the rest of the things um we have to promote social yeah this was always a problem that we couldn't really fill the jobs since they were um capable and educated workforce was missing so let's bring out the social mobility again wherever we can where it's necessary looks kind of good here in these places yeah yeah okay it was not the problem over here and we've got uh 400 more is there any hard specialization going on here we've got the coal mines generally a lot of mining so maybe our resource industry is already being promoted over here we do have well it's hard, really hard to tell not the industry really not the resources either let's see if we have somewhere really clear focus shogoku seems to be quite industrialized yeah and long term we're going for industrialization so let's fire those out i think chubu here is very agricultural at least we yeah, built here some and tohoku was definitely resources which is already in there so is Hokkaido, I think. Alright. Let's see how this affects um, the development. We have to have a look on, on Hokkaido here and there and see how... If the change with the suppression... Uh, in the end leads to higher migration and so on. We'll see if the share of Japanese in improves a lot significantly soon. Looks like there's at least migration going on. At least the population grows and it's better than the mortality. Students of the Blade. As the special privileges of the samurai class diminish, their special right to carry swords as a status symbol has been called into question. It is perhaps the fate of all countries to go through periods where the warrior class lose their special position in society as their value is a cast aside for their contemporary priorities. However, to a strip of warrior of his weapon, to strip a warrior of his weapon to take from him not only his status but the symbol of who he is and the honor of his forebearers must be considered the height of hum humili humiliation yeah uh oh we can make them more radical our servicemen and officers the right could be extended to other citizens of status 
take a samurai sword must be would be to tear out his soul read time sword rights all right that's what let's have a quick look what we need to fulfill here Ah, okay, we, sh we should not have them in the government, actually. So this was probably the reason why we had them out. And we need to bring them... Okay, but it's not dependent on the size of them, actually. However... How strong are the samurai right now? Quite. For nine years. But we don't want them to decrease necessarily, right? This right could be extended to other citizens of status. Especially since Komei is a supporter of the samurai. I think he's rather unmoderate. He, I think he tries to go a compromise. So let's do this. And see how this affects our radicals up here. Yeah, some... Oh yeah, but this is okay. Tiny jumps. And I think... Let's have a look actually out of our market. Um, to artillery, quite cheap right now and the arms how do they look oh small arms quite cheap so maybe we could uh, continue with moving yeah our dudes here to we already researched skirmish infantry but i think we just need line here let's have another look irregular is not has not activated infantry focus has not activated cannon artillery okay I irregular infantry and cannon is not okay so, line infantry should be fine. Mobile artillery. And we have it already in Toku. Let's slowly start here in the north and see how this affects our prices here in terms for the arms especially. Yeah, I think we can rise them once, uh, get some more out actually. In Kyushu, line infantry and mobile artillery. Yeah, now our costs are definitely... We shouldn't, like, go push too hard. Rousing speech captivates the public. This afternoon, Shigeto Matsudaira, leader of the Kazoku, delivered a fiery speech advocating for the enactment of dedicated police force. Making an appearance before the publics in Ida's main square, Shigeto Matsudaira's powerful rhetoric left even his most embittered political opponents impressed. Excerpts from the speech are already being circulated across Japan, fanning the fires of an already roaring debate. This should ease the path to reform greatly or shall we performance like these reflect well on Shigeto Matsudaira and his cause I think this makes more sense for me right now and we have good chance already and I was surprised that the Kazoku is really low and um, yeah some more academics he deserves the attention he got I would say okay Kinin unlocked isolation of Kinin allows Kinine Allows it to be used as most effective medicine against the harsh effects of malaria. Right, plus one here. Removes all effects from malaria in your own colonies in states. Allows establishment of colonies in states with severe malaria. All right. So, actually, maybe it's now being an emperor. And this might be a motivation for us, I think, slowly to think about pushing here the colonial affairs to level two which would allow us according to house rule to start colonizing a bit over here in the pacific and in micronesia and so on so maybe this is one of our next ambitions for sure low market access in kansai so let's get one more railway out Let's have a look at our arms uh, factory. Alright, so cannons, uh, um, artillery is getting scarce. Let's do this then. Yeah. So... This should be better. Let's expand it's nevertheless, because we will switch some more. And we don't want to be reliant on imports or something. Uh, here we also produce we made two different ones so we can uh, level it out a little bit but yeah at the moment we have both in the same mode which is okay um and i think maybe this is the time already to go further and put another one out how many are left oh only one so actually then let's do it fully 
I don't know if the... So now we should have them all on the same level, yeah? Um, oh, right. We just need them... Ah, uh, god damn it. We need them not to be powerful. We need them out of the government. So which kind of government can we have without the samurai? This is kind of effective. None. Oh, gosh. Yeah, okay. Sometimes we should take more notes between the recordings since now I realized why we had them out there. Um, this will lead to more government. We will have a drop in legitimacy and probably again lose some authority as well. And then maybe I should have weakened them also with the event before, but it is what it is. So Shinto monks don't improve the situation significantly here. Significantly. All right, so then let's get them in. Let's get the samurai out and see how we can handle this situation. Like this, all right. Yeah, now we see the drop here in the authority, which means basically we can re undo some of the things that we did. Um, we did basically... Yeah. The social mobilities, you know. They were kind of helpful. But we can't afford them right now. So, for these... Let's keep the minus 370 maybe. Which will definitely make them more angry, but they're still super happy. This is fine. So, now we've just got to get, to get them... Oh, I'm a little bit annoyed that I... Above 20%, but 20% is powerful. All right, so we're basically very much at the border. Um, let's just wait what happens and maybe with the next event uh, that offers us to reduce a little bit uh, of power for the samurai, maybe we're we definitely going to go for that. Um, all right, and I think we're kind of done and we can actually afford this kind of army right now. Of course, we can even increase it. And yeah, we should also build some more arms factories, looks like it. Maybe then one more in Kyushu, so we can actually put one, as we planned originally, for artillery and one for the arms. And you see with the lower authority also our success chance with the dedicated police force uh, dropped significantly. Which is okay, because now we're not that, it's not that relevant. And we're getting cordial with the, with the Northern Germans, interesting. However, those guys, the Brits, still want to de damage the relations with us whatsoever. You are rivals with the Russians, no, Austrians. Oh, they're not rivals with the, rivals with the Spanish, the Italians, the French and the Austrians. Not bad. And they have an alliance with the Americans, all right? And we do. Oh, they look, oh, they are belligerent towards us. And they're still damaging the relations to us, the French. And there is a war in between the Ottomans and the French. All right. Who's fighting whom? Oh, wow. This is a massive one. We have Northern German. The Northern German Federation is fighting with the Ottomans versus the French, the Russians, and the Montenegrins. All right. And what is the cause? Thessaly. <laughs> we saw this last time. So France wants to get a treaty port in Thessaly in Greece. And we want, want to return Ottoman Montenegro to Montenegro. And Ottomans just want war reparations in Russia and... Alright. Russia and the Prussians just joined in. And for nothing, basically. They can't win anything. Wow. Yeah, that's something with this... Uh, you know, like, this is... Something that might be or needs to be changed in my point of view. I still like the diplomatic uh, play system in generally a lot, but these adjustments that you have like p people fighting over things that they don't get any benefit from and uh, you can't influence even like, of course, the North German Federation here is power rank three, the Ottomans are 13. So I think, of course, if they join in and fight here and occupy Poland, there should be options also to have certain gains or advantages from this. But all right. So much at least yeah the russians hate us how about the americans can we actually interact with them yeah we need also need to increase our fleets uh increasing the chance wonderful we need to increase our fleet a bit and there we are 
Retire the samurai was successfully complete. Wonderful. The fall of the samurai. Already lost their influence. And the Komei restoration completed as well. Alright, the fall of the samurai. Japan has succeeded in reforming the armed forces and putting an end to the backward system of feudalism. The samurai warrior caste seemingly no longer have a place within our modernizing society. The shogun commanded the loyalty of the daimyo, who in turn re relied on their samurai to help them enforce their rule over the enserved peasantry. This was the basis of Japanese feudalism, now a relic of the past. There are those still loyal to samurai ideals, the codes and virtues known as Bushido, and that legacy will surely endure. But the samurai have fallen, and we will not see their like again. Let's keep them. Let's keep their status as officers and nobles. Samurai interest group will be reorganized into this armed forces. Samurai officers minus twenty five percent innovation gain from mil military. All right. They will lose. Still, they will get the samurai. Also get hambatsu, as I told you before. They lose patriotic and bakufu. So they support for the shogunate or the sam era of the sham samurai is over wow that um definitely <laughs> makes them way more radical samurai interest group will be reorganized into the armed forces okay and the events are kind of the same and I think still again we had an early reformation and he's a Okuma Yamato is a supp uh, supporter of the samurai. So I think he is still uh, kind of fond of their traditions as well and he will keep them. Let's have a quick uh, look on the technologies so we can see if it's also from a gameplay perspective uh, okay decision. And I do think since yeah we are already we can go for another we can already go for skirmish infantry instead of line and here it takes six years for research and there's no spread so far so i think it's a good moment we can actually sacrifice the innovation gain for military armed forces for five years this should be fine so the officers and nobles can keep their samurai status and we do have a renewed japan a reformed army an open and recognized country a new society Japan stands as an equal among the powers of the world and will perhaps begin to pursue imperial ambitions of her own. Are we going to? Who knows? <laughs> By the blessing of heaven we sit upon this sacred throne on which our ancestors resigned from the time immemorial. The civilization and institutions of Japan are so different from those of other countries that we cannot expect to reach the declared end at once. It is our purpose to select from the various institutions prevailing among enlightened nations such as are best suited to our present conditions and adopt them in gradual reforms and improvements of our policy and customs so as to be upon equality with them. The Japanese Empire shall rise and we get a massive boost here in terms of... Yeah, here we kind of cope with our military uh, gain modifier already and we gain claims on entire Korea. We need powerful friends, for we shall make powerful enemies. Gets fruits of restorations. Is this the same up here? Is it exactly the same? I think it's... Oh, no, we get ambassadors. Oh, we get society improvement. Spread for society. Ah, now I'm getting difference. Technology spread. Loyalists from standard... Fruits... Okay, fruits of restoration is always the same, and then we got either military, social, or probably here the industrial um, modifier. But as I told you, our plan was to definitely get a little bit imperialistic, and uh, yeah, of course, um, uh, don't tell my wife. But again, uh, Korea is very is a very tempting uh, area of expansion, of course. And I think even in the like in the histor history, there was this German advisor or Prussian advisor to Japan who uh, called Korea a dagger into strategic dagger in the heart of Japan. So I absolutely understand this, understand this kind of thinking. I don't, since for, for sympathy for the Koreans and so on, I don't plan to uh, fully annex them probably and subjugate them as slaves, which they would be currently kind of, not slaves, but due to our ethno state they would not be happy in Japan right now so probably subjugating them as a puppet or something would be wise however if we take the current Joseon state this would be probably quite yeah um yeah outdated state agrarianism and so on so this wouldn't work nicely so probably we have to annex them first 
and then release them as a courier or something as a puppet state so we have indirect control over them and maybe give them some before we release them some um, yeah, initial boost by building some things over there but let's see it's not the time anyways yet but we will definitely take the yeah these military gains multiplier so we can grow here fastly and get the claims so we do have claims on korea now and yeah let's see so far the thing about korea is they're definitely a tributary to the queen so we can't just easily go ahead and like say for example um where do we actually can we do that oh we do have two good relations with them cooperative okay this is why we can't do it right now so maybe we have to can we just do something here we have two good relations with the with both the queen and the koreans let's just start yeah doing this are the heavenly kingdom we we put as a rival already nice ah that's good to see so maybe actually yeah of course the queen are a rival and we need to expand into china as well that's why we are damaging the relations a bit However, I think um, giving the current situation with the Heavenly Kingdom that has basically no partners and is uh, no one really likes them, it would be kind of a good chance maybe to get some kind of treaty hub port or maybe um, I'm quite Guangdong. I'm not sure. And unfortunately, we can't get the island out, just the island. Let's we'll see. We'll see. This can be definitely a good uh, jumping point for further expansion here. And actually, when talking about this, I think this is also a good, not jumping point, but a good point where we can end this episode. We saw a lot, so we really finished the restoration right now. Got rid of the samurai, so once again, have a quick overlook. The samurai, samurai now are called the armed forces and are supporting the Hambatsu as well. So probably actually, tada, now we have a super legitimate government. We have three parties basically aligned, the Saibatsu armed forces and Kasoku. So yeah, we will have also a lot of authority back up here. So let's finally, once again, what we <laughs> do the second time, get the promote social mobility out where we need it. Get the um, manufacturing support and so on out. And then we're happy with a plus in authority as well. Um, what we want to do here is... Um, resource industry let's have a look if the effect is already turmoil is reducing not really but the attraction yeah still some people are migrating here that's nice to see it all right everybody um yeah then i guess i'll see you next time in the next episode where we definitely continue our yeah new gem this empire rising where we accompany it and see it grow and get a real great power Thanks for watching, I hope you liked it. Leave me a like and a subscription please and uh, then see you happily in the next episode. Bye, your strategy wall.